Do you want to elevate your digital work? Well, don't worry, mock-ups are your friend. If you're feeling like your design is on point but you are not getting enough views, maybe people are not just visualizing how it should be. So what do you do? You create mock-ups. Creating mock-ups is a simple and fast way to visualize how your work will sit or will live in the environment that it's intended to be placed in. That's really useful for creating client projects and as well as showing photos on your Instagram grid. And in this video, I will show you how you can easily create a mock-up using Procreate on the iPad. Most of us are visual people. We tend to appreciate things when they're in their rightful places. If you put your digital lettering on the surface that you intend to be using later on, it will make a huge difference when you show your work, especially when you're creating portfolios, doing client work, or even just showing your work on Instagram. So when you're creating mock-ups, take a photo of the surface that you're working on. If it's going to sit at a bar, if it's going to sit in a cafe, if it's a window, it's a chalkboard, just take a photo of those where you're facing the chalkboard directly and maybe to a side so you can see how it looks like from the front view and the side view. But we usually use the front view the most. Here are also some additional tips when you're creating a mock-up. Always measure the boards or the surfaces that you are working on. Even if you have a really huge board, you will probably not use every single portion of it. Take note of that when you are drawing your artwork. Create your artwork on a transparent layer. And also don't forget to use as much layers as possible rather than having to redo and redraw everything every single time. If you are intending to use your artwork for Instagram and it's just a fictitious project, you can also download images for free on websites such as unsplash.com or pexels.com or pixabay.com. Those are useful websites where you can download images that are royalty free and free even for commercial use. But if you decide to download on any of those websites, be sure to read the fine print. Don't use it for for any purpose that is not allowed. So if you have to purchase a license from a stock photo company, you can also do that. So I want to show you two ways how you can create a mock-up from an existing photo or an exported JPEG that you have. So once you have copied the photo, we can go over to Procreate and quickly create something that we copied from the clipboard. Otherwise, you can always create a canvas from an existing photo that you select. But since we already have it in the album that we open in Photos, we can just copy it over to Procreate. Now, once we have the artwork, notice that the blackboard or the chalkboard is quite small. I want to resize it to make sure that we really see how the design will sit onto the environment that we will be putting the chalkboard in. So what we can do is either do the same thing, take an existing photo from your gallery, maybe this one that we exported as a JPEG, and select this and copy this over to Procreate. So we'll just paste it over here and we can always resize it. Now notice that the dimensions doesn't really fit well on the board. So what we can do is also change the, the method of resizing. We can actually distort it like this to make sure that the perspectives are quite right. So it's up to you if you want to stop here, but for this demonstration purposes, we'll be stopping here. So note that some of the sections are black and it doesn't really reflect well on the board because the colors are different. If you want to create better mock-ups, it would be better if you change the blending mode to screen, but I'm going to show you one other way that will help you make things easier. Instead of taking it from a JPEG, what you can do is, of course, we will hide this first, to take an existing project that you did in transparent. So once you have all the groupings here, what you can do is make sure that you back up your project. So you retain the original drawings that you have. And on the backup project, make sure to delete all those layers that I don't need because once we flatten it later, you will be seeing all of those hidden layers too. So let's just make sure to delete those hidden layers and leave only those that we want to see. I think we're good now. Let's just click on the top layer group and then click flatten. Now we have this flat image 
only on one layer. So even if I remove the background color, we can see that this layer is transparent. So it's always good to work on a transparent layer. What we can do now is click copy and then go back to our gallery. Go back to our chalkboard and we can actually paste it over here. Now you can instantly see that it looks loads better than when we used the JPEG option earlier. So you can always change the resizing method as well to distort and fix the perspective on this. So now you can show your client how it will potentially look like on the space that's allotted for your work. You can also try to draw on the surface directly, but I wouldn't recommend it because then again, your proportions will always look different. Just measure the board and draw on a different canvas. I would suggest that's the better way to go. An example mock-up that I created for my Philips project. And this is a window photo for one of the cafes in Singapore called Chai Seng Huat Hardware, where the Philips event took place. I basically just laid out some of the art that I did for them to help them visualize how it will look like on the window. Like in our previous example, I can also change the size to help them visualize how it will look like. Mockups are great not just only for client projects, but it's also perfect for your Instagram feed. What you can do is to download high quality, royalty free images from the likes of unsplash.com. Simply insert the image here and then overlay your art over it. To make it look more professional, you can always include certain shadows and depths to fit the environment of the photo. So in this example, I actually included a little bit of a shadow effect on this side. This is perfect for your Instagram posts too. You can also see how I mocked up my design over the Hydro Flask. Before I draw it over the, the Hydro Flask, I have an easy way for me to tell whether things will look great or not. And those are the steps to create a mock-up on Procreate. It's so fast and so simple to do, and it only took us a few minutes to do that. I'm sure this will help you elevate your digital lettering. Why not try overlaying your work onto an existing surface, maybe a wall or maybe a chalkboard or maybe a window. This will help you build your portfolio and as well as make your Instagram look more professional and more interesting to the eyes. I also recently launched my new Skillshare course on creating a chalkboard wedding welcome sign using liquid markers that's a very long title but it's very seo friendly so do check it out we'll learn all about chalkboards liquid markers and which markers and which pens are best used to which for which purpose okay just between you and me i actually share a lot about chalkboards and liquid markers in that skillshare class and i don't think a lot of artists and instructors really teach this openly because we usually just learn this from experience and yeah it took me a lot of time and money before i got to learn those lessons but you know what if someone told me about those things earlier on i wouldn't have wasted so much money and so much time trying to figure those out so be sure to check out my skillshare class even just for those two chapters you can already learn a lot that you can apply to your own projects whether it's commercial or personal and the link to that class will be down below and if you are worried about having to pay for it it's free, it's on Skillshare. And if you don't have a Skillshare account, that's perfect because I'm giving you two months free to Skillshare and you can access my class and all other classes right over there. Don't leave just yet. I think you should watch more videos and these two are the perfect ones for you. I will see you again next week.